This is the maintenance video on how to install the OLED upgrade board on the Eclipse GTEC. The OLED board is an upgrade that's available to purchase from Eclipse retailers and it fits into Eclipse GTEC and Eclipse eTech. Just plugs into the existing circuit board. I'm going to show you how to do that now. First of all, just remove the grips. Take out the two screws on either side the rubber grips. And then just remove those from the frame. Place those to one side. On the battery side, take out the battery and plug it and turn the frame over. So you have access to the circuit board on the left hand side of the frame. You gently lift the board out and slide it out from the frame. Once it's out and pulled to the side you can then go ahead and lift out this placeholder which is just has the Eclipse logo on it that shows through the window when there's no OLED installed. You can place that to one side there. While we have the board out of the frame here, it's worth noting that inside here is the back of the push button. The push button obviously protrudes onto the inside of the frame and acts on the push button on the circuit board. When we reinstall the circuit board into the frame, it's very important that the, the push button is pushed to the outside and isn't fallen onto the inside. This will stop the circuit board sliding in and may tear the push button off the circuit board. So always make sure the push button is pushed into its out position. With the board hanging out of the frame, take your OLED upgrade and plug it into the socket the side. Now I like to incline front of the, the marker slightly upwards so that the push button drops to the rear position then slide the circuit board and the OLED back into place. And then turn the marker over and insert battery. Now you have the battery and the circuit board and the OLED in place. You can reattach the grips. Screws back in. They don't need to be over tightened. Before you close up the left hand side, always worth checking that the wires aren't caught behind the micro switch, pushed out of the way, and also that the wires aren't trapped across any of the flat surfaces here or here, because that will hold the grips away from the frame. Close that up. Put screws back in. The left side. Then the last thing to do is just check that everything is working correctly. Press and hold the power button. Make sure that the OLED powers up. See the eye display there. Just make sure that your eyes are detecting correctly. That's the installation complete.